Welcome to the Planet Pearl video tutorial for yarn overs and double yarn overs. Our supplies today, yarn and straight needles. So I've started with a little swatch of stockinette and we're going to start with yarn overs between two knit stitches. So we're going to knit to where our instructions tell us to make a yarn over. And oddly enough, we're going to take the yarn over the needle. So go between the needles and over and just hold the yarn behind. Because remember, we're between two knit stitches. So we start with the yarn behind, we end with the yarn behind. So let's see it close up. Between and over, you're basically creating a knit loop. The yarn stays behind and then you just work the next stitch. Now normally the yarn over is going to be paired with a decrease uh, that's either before or after. There you go, in between and to the back. So normally the stitch after the yarn over uh, is likely a decreased stitch, but you'll just work it according to the instructions. So here you see that we've created these holes, the yarn over is easy to spot because the stitch itself is slanted, as you can see, since there's nothing anchoring it on the back. And you can easily spot it from the back because there's no purl bump showing. So you just have this kind of slanted little length of yarn around the needle. So when you work the yarn over, when it's on the knit side, and when you work the yarn over on the purl side, I'm going to show you how to uh, create the row above it. So we're going to purl just like we always would. And then you'll see you get to that loop where there's no purl bump. It's your yarn over. Be careful not to slide it off the needle and then just work it as if it were a real stitch, which it just became once you worked it. So just purl. There's your yarn over. And work it as if to purl. So when we get to the other side here, you'll see that we've created the holes that are going to create lace or buttonholes. So now I'm going to show you how to do a yarn over in between two purl stitches. So we're going to purl to the required spot. And since we're purling, we're starting in front, going around and in between and ending in the front. Because remember, we're, it's between two purls, the purl before, the purl after. So you start with the yarn in front, take the yarn over in between the needles, and hold the yarn back in front and purl. And so once again, we have these slanted stitches that are the, the landmark for your yarn overs. And so you can see the yarn overs across since they're missing their purl bumps. So now when you work these going back on the knit side, just like before, when you worked them on the purl side, since you're knitting, you just knit through the stitch. And the real trick is to be careful not to let that yarn over get too close to the end of the needle. It'll slide right off and uh, disappear. So. I usually keep my finger on the yarn over when I'm working it. So here you see now we've created yarn overs on the, on the purl side. They look just the same when you're on the right side. Now I'm going to show you how to do a double yarn over. So we're going to knit, since we're working on the knit side, we're going to knit to the location where we're going to do a double yarn over. 
So we're going to, since we're on the knit side, the, we're going around twice and holding the yarn in the back. We start with the yarn in the back, loop around, loop around, hold it in the back. And then we'll knit to where we do the next double yarn over. So between the needles around, between the needles around, hold it to the back and knit. So you can see it close up. And then these are going to be worked a little differently on the uh, on the wrong side coming back. So let's see it around once, around twice, hold the yarn toward the back and knit. Which makes a very big hole. And you can see the two stitches that are a little um, skewed. So coming back, you're going to work this a little differently. So here you have your two yarn overs. Be really careful not to slip them off the needle. So you're going to purl, since you're already purling, you're going to purl the first one. Now you have to create a division between that first and the second one, otherwise you just got loose hangy yarn here. So bring the yarn between the needles and knit the second one. So you, if you're working on the purl side, you purl the first, you knit the second. Then bring the yarn back into position for purling and continue working. We're going to do that again. So here's your two. You're on the purl side, so purl the first. Bring the yarn back between the needles to create that division. Knit the second. And now bring the yarn back to the front to continue purling. Almost like you were creating a rib. So it's obvious when you get, see there's the two loose loops. We're going to purl the first, yarn between the needles, knit the second, yarn back between the needles, ready to purl. And there you have your very large holes for your double yarn over. Which if you were doing lace would mostly most likely be paired with a decrease on either side or on both sides. So now I'm going to show you how to do a double yarn over on the purl side. So we're going to purl to where we want to do the double yarn over. So we're yarns in the front because you're purling, loop all the way around to the front, loop all the way around to the front because remember we're purling. So the yarn stays in the front to purl and then we just keep purling. So here it is close up, around into the front, around into the front, and then keep purling. So you can see, once again, we have the two slanted stitches that tell us we have a double yarn over. So now when you're working these on the right side, just like you did when you were on the, on the wrong side, since you're already knitting, you're going to knit the first. You're going to take the yarn back between the needles and purl the second one. Then back behind, ready to knit. And up close, there's your double yarn over. We're already knitting, so we'll just knit the first. Yarn between the needles and purl the second. And then back between the needles and back to knitting. And now Paris creates the hole between Martha and Montana. Come visit us soon at planetpearl.com.